This is a sample of a kick drum. And this is an AI recreation of that same kick drum. So what is the point in using AI to generate a fake kick drum when there are more kick drum samples on the internet than there are planets in the Milky Way? Well, it turns out that this is a total game changer. And I believe that the technology behind this is going to change music production forever, even for you. And that is a good thing. Now this plugin, Backbone, uses a type of AI known as a generative adversarial network. Now generative adversarial networks, or GANs, have been getting quite a lot of attention recently. They've been used for everything from bringing old family photos to life, to presenting the news in South Korea. 어제 코로나19 확진자가 61명 나왔습니다. 신규 확진이 4월째 두 자릿수를 기록했는데 방역 당국은 안심하기 이르다고 말했습니다. And as you can see, GANs have now started to make their way into music production. So I wanted to do a little bit of digging to find out what they are and how they work. Now, researching for this video, I found a lot of interesting things, many of which I wasn't aware of beforehand. And I have to tell you, as a music producer, I am properly excited for how I envisage this technology to be used over the next coming years. And for all the people from the future who are looking back at this video to have a giggle at our naivety over AI, the date is February 2023 and Skynet haven't taken over yet. So what are GANs? Generative adversarial networks, or GANs, are a type of AI used to generate new data. The way they work, in complete layman's terms, is by pitting two neural networks against each other. Now a neural network is kind of like your brain. It's made up of many parts, like neurons, and those neurons help the neural network think and make decisions. But anyway, in a GAN we have two neural networks kind of fighting against each other. The GAN is fed a data set, and then one of the networks, known as a generator, creates new data. The other network, known as a discriminator, tries to decide whether that data is real or fake. Now, if the discriminator determines that the data produced by the generator is real, that data is then passed on to you. If it decides that that data is fake, the generator then has to generate some new data, and the process is repeated. And if the GAN is given a large enough data set, it will be able to create a brand new data that is indistinguishable from real data. So how was a GAN implemented into this plugin, Backbone? Well, this GAN, or Drum GAN, as the developers at Sony CSL have named it, is a neural audio synthesizer. And the data set that the Drum GAN was fed was just obviously loads and loads of drum samples. The GAN then learned the characteristics of those drum samples and was therefore able to generate new sounds that faithfully match the sounds of those samples. Now what is really exciting though is that Drum GAN can produce interpolations and extrapolations of those samples to create brand new samples that it wasn't even trained on. Now imagine that this GAN had been trained on piano samples, the same samples that make up a multi-sampled piano plugin. So every note of a piano played at multiple velocities. Now you could feed this GAN with samples from multiple pianos recorded in multiple locations. And now your piano VST isn't taking up hundreds of gigabytes worth of space on your hard drive, and you could specify the exact kind of piano you would like, recorded with the exact microphone you would like, recorded in the exact room that you would like. And this is really just scratching the surface. So why am I so optimistic about the future of music production? Well, let me preface this by saying that even though I'm super excited about what this technology means for the future of music production, I do think it's going to absolutely destroy the world of mixing engineers and recording studios, but I'll get onto that in the next video, so like and subscribe if you haven't already. But let's get back to our piano VST, which I am totally claiming intellectual property rights on, native instruments. But you would be able to, in theory, create a piano that does not exist, recorded with a microphone that does not exist, recorded in a room that doesn't exist. 
kind of like what you can do in Backbone when you ask it to create a kick, snare, cymbal, hybrid. But back to the piano. Now, you would be able to play this piano with all the expressiveness of any piano in the real world, MIDI controller limitations aside, and the end result would be that you would have a brand new piano, like a brand new sound, your sound. And why stop with pianos? I mean, in theory, you could feed a GAN every single sample library that is available on the internet today. And then you would have one single VST that is able to produce any sound you could ever imagine and turn it into a perfectly playable instrument. Now, of course, that wouldn't be commercially viable, but still, I'm copywriting that idea as well. So what's next? Now, I will put money on the fact that my piano plugin will be available within the next year or so, because consider Dolly, like it was only a year ago that we've seen a text to image generator and already we have moving images. So what's next? What about a virtual singer? Like, Give it your lyrics, give it your melody, and then decide whether you want it sung by a Peruvian throat singer or an Italian soprano. Incorporate that chat GDP technology into the plugin and it will help you write lyrics and melody based on your prompts, based on how you are feeling that day. Now, I was actually sent a vocal synthesizer plugin that uses AI, so if you'd like to see me do a video on that, let me know in the comments below. And what about MIDI plugins? Now, right now I use Scalar, link in the description below, to suggest chord progressions based on my input, i.e. my initial chord that I play. Now, how long before we can prompt it to play our chord progression in the style of an Afro-Cuban pianist from the 70s playing a classical harp in the International Space Station? Well, as it turns out, not that long at all. <laughs> And what about Music LM from Google? Here you can just hum or whistle a melody and it will be played back on any instrument of your choosing. Now, how about if you were a singer-songwriter and you'd written a song that you would like a backing track for, but you don't actually play any instruments? Well, that's here too as well. When I'm gone away, uh, no one will worry. Now, how about something a little bit more useful for an actual music producer? Now, this is a rhythmic MIDI plugin that uses AI to create new and original patterns based on the ones that you've already programmed into it. It learns your style and your taste. And how about this? Now, this can create sample libraries by creating loops from stems and extracts from your own personal music collection. Now combine those two things and you not only have an AI that understands what kind of music inspires you, but it also understands how it inspires you to play. Now think about that for a second while you like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you think. Anyway, I've been Craig Lopez. Peace.